Well, for those of you who are a little bit slow or stunned or thick in the head and can't read the description of this video, well, I'm sorry. But today we're doing an unboxing of an EFI system that's going on Project Dale and it's sponsored. So stay tuned. So like I said before, in case you haven't guessed it, we have been sponsored by Phytech and Phytech has come through with one heck of a discount on this system that we're going to be installing on the truck that we'll reveal to you here momentarily. So a big shout out goes out to Phytech for uh, allowing me to be kind of a little bit of a mule or a guinea pig uh, in the sense that I've never done this before and they're taking a chance on me based on what they've seen on uh, this channel. So. I don't know what that tells you about them, but I think they're smart enough to know a good thing when they see it. So thank you Phytech for uh, having some faith in me so we can get uh, this fuel injection set up, uh, put into Project Dale. So without too much delay, I want to jump right in. I don't want to drag this video out too long, but I want to go through everything that we've got laid out for you and uh, tell you what the plan of action is and the time frame in which we are going to do it. So, first things first, if you look over here uh, to the bottom right on your screen, this is the fuel line. Now this did not come with the fuel injection kit. This is a um, 5 16 and it comes with all the uh, little AN fittings. These are AN6 and the little tools to put everything together with. I had to buy this on my own um, as well as the fuel filter, uh, the inline fuel filter. The reason why this one, this particular kit, and you'll see here in a few minutes, doesn't come with a fuel filter uh, or an inline fuel filter is because I bought the in-tank fuel pump. We'll show you that in just a second. Because we've got a uh, fuel pump uh, now in the tank. We're not going to need the mechanical fuel pump on the block. So I've got this block off plate and I've also picked up a bracket here for my kick down cable and my throttle cable uh, which will mount on the system. Uh, I didn't have it on this one. I really didn't need it um, but we're going to use it on this one simply because it's going to make uh, attaching everything a little bit easier without having to MacGyver uh, too much on it. Now, Phytech did send me some ball caps and these are the old uh, old school mesh uh, snapbacks and I'm going to be giving these away at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned uh, for that. As you can tell I never wear ball caps uh, but we are going to be giving uh, at least two of these away. I'm going to keep one because I got a buddy of mine that I want to give that to. And we've also got some wire loom here for running our wires back. I've had this. I didn't have to go buy that specifically for this project. But nevertheless, we've got some wire loom that's going to get us uh, on down the road as far as uh, you know, wiring up the uh, fuel pump in the tank. Now let's get on to the good stuff. In this box here is the Phytech Go Fuel Universal In-Tank Fuel Pump. And the reason why it's universal is because it's not specifically made for any one vehicle. As we open it up here, you're going to notice the actual piece that's going to go inside the tank and you can see you've got a pressure return line you've also got a vent there uh, all your wires would connect to the top this is universal because you can cut it to fit depending on how deep or shallow your gas tank is it does come with a big sock filter in the uh, that you're going to put in the bottom of the tank so again the reason why you don't necessarily need an inline filter but uh, we're going to double up on this. We've got the sock filter that will go in the tank and we've also got the inline filter that will go along the fuel rail. And then we've got the actual pump itself. So there are instructions that come with this that tell you how to adjust this as far as making it fit universally and we will go through that. There will be actually a separate video that I'm going to do on just the fuel tank installation or the fuel pump installation into the tank uh, which means we're going to have to cut some of these hoses and brackets and whatnot to make it fit 
and there's the pump. And the reason why I wanted to go with an in-tank pump was for the biggest reason, a clean install, but hopefully a little bit quieter of a fuel pump when it's running. You guys have all heard the nightmare stories about inline fuel pumps for fuel injected uh, parts like this and they tend to be quite loud and in fact some people told me to steer away from certain brands because of the loudness of their pumps. Well I was hoping that uh, we would be able to eliminate some of that noise by simply installing it into the tank. That's the plan of action that we're going with. So this is the universal. And what we'll have to do, and again, I'm gonna go through it on a, on a video uh, later on, is uh, we're gonna have to drop the tank on Dale, which means getting it up in the air. And uh, we're gonna have to dump all the gas out of it and drill a new hole to fit this and the kit that it comes with to get it mounted in there. We're gonna use the original sending unit for the gas gauge, uh, but this whole unit will be new, so we'll have to get that all put together. And now, on to the goal of this operation. When I saw this come in the mail, it was just a brown box. It wasn't anything fancy. It just came in a big brown box like this. And when the courier showed up, he says, I'm looking for a Jason car. And I'm like, well, that's me. He says, got a package for you, plunked it down. I was with a customer. I wasn't even expecting it to come as quick as it did. And, well, wouldn't you know, I read the return address and it said Bytech. And I was just like a little schoolgirl jumping up and down. I was so excited. So, first things first, instruction manual. And we've got 10 horsepower here, another 10 here. So we know for sure that this EFI system is going to add at least 20 horsepower to old Dale the truck. You guys ready for this? Would you look at that? That is a thing of beauty. And I'm excited. It comes with all the wiring plugins that you need. Um, it also comes with the coolant temperature sensor. The wiring harness is all there. You can't mess it up because every plug-in is slightly different so that you're not going to plug anything into the wrong spot. These machines, th these pieces right here are cast or cut out of a solid piece of aluminum. They're real durable, they're real solid looking. I'm hoping that it's gonna work as good as it looks because man, this thing is amazing. Uh, the one that we opted to go with was the Go Street uh, unit, which basically does up to 400 horsepower. We know Dale's probably not doing any more than that for sure. Uh, we're lucky if we're doing three, 325. But this is the setup that we decided to go with. And like I said, it comes with all the wiring, and it also comes with the uh, with the Phytech onboard uh, diagnostic or computer for setting things up. You don't have to have this all the time. Uh, basically, I think what I'm going to do with it, because I, I like to keep the, the interior of the truck looking stock, I'll use this to do the initial setup and some of the fine tuning. After that, I'll probably unplug it and throw it in the glove box and only use it if I need to make any changes. But there you have it guys. There is the Phytech Go Fuel fuel injection for Project Dale the truck. I know some of you guys have been quite excited about this to find out which one we were actually getting the sponsorship with and I do have to let you know it wasn't a full sponsorship. Um, they did give me a significant discount uh, for doing exactly what we're going to be doing here to Project Dale the Truck. Thank you again goes out to Phytech for sponsoring this. 
Uh, they'll be sponsoring a few videos as we go as we go forward with the fuel injection. And uh, look, it's coming up sooner than you think. We've got a couple of other videos lined up in the near future, uh, but we're also going to be doing some benchmarking with Dale, getting some possible zero to sixties uh, before on the Quadrajet and then after with the Phytech and comparing the outcome on that. There is another EFI project coming and you guys are going to want to stick around with that because the old Chrysler Cordoba is likely going to be getting it as well and it may be a Phytech, it may not be. But either way, we're going to compare the installs and we're going to compare the performance enhancements that each system did for each vehicle. So, if you guys are interested in winning one of these hats, I want you to go down to the comment section down below and I want you to type in Go Fitech. And what I will do is in an upcoming video, I will come back to this one and I will pick randomly two winners, one for each of those ball caps, and I will get them sent out to you as quickly as I can. So remember, down in the comment section, type Go Fitech, and you might just be a winner. I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I wanted to make it a short video, but looks like we're well over 12 minutes. Don't forget, the Car Guy and Six Fan show next week on Grant Tommy's channel, who is straight Six Fan. I'll put a link right up here so you guys can head over there and subscribe to him if you're not already. You're not going to want to miss next week. We've got Weird Beard from Weird Beard Auto Sales on YouTube. is going to be joining us in the studio, and you guys can get your questions off to him, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about how his YouTube channel is doing. Last week, we talked about unveiling the Solo B-Roll Challenge and we encourage all YouTubers who are watching this channel as well as Grant Tommy to do your very own Solo B-Roll Challenge. We'll put the rules down in the description box below. You guys can uh, have fun with that and we're looking forward to seeing your creativity. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.